Hello children, how are you today? I hope you're fine and you're doing good. Compliment of the season. Today we shall be looking at our top topic for the term, which is what processing slash what program slash examples and word processing environment presented by Mr. Innocent 18 SU. Topic outline, definition of word processing, common word programs, word processing environment, steps for booting the computer system. These are the topics that we're going to be looking at in this class. Objective of lesson. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to when define word processing. At least three examples of common word programs. Explain word processing environment. Steps to boot the computer system. Word processing slash word programs slash examples and word processing environment. Word processing refers to the use of computer to create, view, edit, format, and print documents for future retriever and make further revisions later. In other words, Word processing is the manipulation of mach by machine of characters, word, sentences, programs, documents for communication purpose. Now, if you could remember, in our third term, we discussed about computer software. Now, I told you that there are two types of software. We have the system software, and we have the application software. I said the systems, the application software enable user to make use of the computer system. I told you that without the application software, computer users cannot make use of the computer system. Do you understand? that the application enable you as a user to make use of the computer system. And there are many application programs. Now we have Microsoft Word, which simply means MS Word. We have Microsoft Access, we have Microsoft Excel, we have Microsoft PowerPoint, we have CorelDRAW, we have Publisher, we have PageMaker, we have Photoshop. Now, all these are examples of application software, or you can call them application programs. Now, all these programs, they are designed for specific purpose. Example, I will start with Microsoft Word because that is what we are looking at in this class. Microsoft Word is used for typing documents, for typing documents, for saving documents, for retrieving documents, for formatting documents. It is mainly used for typing of textual documents. It's used for typing text. It cannot be used for anything rather than for typing document or textual document. Unlike CorelDRAW, CorelDRAW is an application that is designed for drawing, for graphics. It is not designed for typing. Although you can type, but that is not the main purpose of CorelDRAW. You see, each of them are designed for specific purpose. And what we are considering now is the Microsoft Word. In other words, we call it word processing. The Microsoft Word helps in processing words. 
that is to create and to view. You can view it, you can edit the word that you have created. You can also format the word. The, the word their format is to arrange the document to your text. And after then, you can also print the document if you wish. And print document for future retriever. You can also save it. You can save document in Microsoft Word that can be retrieved later in future. And you can also make further revision later. That is, you can add to the document and you can also subtract from the document. You can edit. In summary, we call it edit. You edit the document when you're editing. You are adding to it, you're subtracting words from it, you're adding words to it. You are making it look, you are structuring it the way you want it. That is word processing. It helps to process, it helps to process documents. Do you understand? In other words, word processing is the manipulation by machine of characters, words, sentences, paragraphs, and documents for communication purpose. Example of word you can process, like your memo, your letter, you can type your letter, you can type your memo. All these are for what? For communication purpose. Is that understood? Common word program. There are different types of computer word processing programs available in the market, but basically they perform similar function. Example, creating, storing, retrieving, and printing of text. Some example of word processing programs include Microsoft Word, which is the latest. WordPerfect, only used in Windows only. Hubs, Apple Works, Open Office Writer, Google, Write, Google Drive Documents. Now, these are example of Word programs. Now, they are what? They are different types, but basically, they can be used to perform similar function. And what is the function? Is for creating, for storing, for formatting, for retrieving, and for printing of text. Like I said earlier, they are designed for this purpose. Do you understand? Microsoft Word is the latest word processing package. Microsoft Word. Work perfect. It's an example, but it has been, it is outdated. You have Apple Work, Open Office Writer, Google Drive Document. All these are examples of Word programs, and they are used for creating, for storing, for retrieving, and for printing of tests. Word processing environment. Word processing environment is defined as a editing stream of Microsoft where data are, are entered, process, edit, store, retrieve, and print out textual documents. Now, I want to believe that most of you are familiar with this diagram. Now, this diagram by my right is the word processing environment. Now, in this environment, that is when data are entered and also processed, data are edited, data are stored, retrieved, and print of textual documents in this very environment. This environment is what we refer to as word processing environment. This is where you can enter data, you can type, you can edit, you can process, you can store and you can also retrieve. Is that understood? 
step for putting the computer system. One, ensure that all the power sources are on. All the power sources, the extension box, ensure that they are all on. Turn on the power button on the monitor. There's a power button on the monitor. You press it, you turn it on by pressing it. Turn on the power button on the center processing unit. You can also see the power button on the central processing unit. So you turn it on by pressing it. Now, after that is done, allow the computer system to boot to the desktop environment because the system has to boot. The booting is a stage whereby the system prepare itself so that you can make use of it. Click on start button on the taskbar. Select and click on all programs. And lastly, click on MS Word to view the microprocessing editing screen. So when you follow this step carefully, you arrive at the word processing editing environment where you can type, edit, format, retrieve, and to print textual documents. Assignment the number one, define word processing. Mention two examples of word programs. Outline all the steps for booting the computer system. This assignment is to be done on your notebook and to be submitted when you're back to school. Thank you for listening and see you in my next class.